I was thinking about this, the Suji talk. When I when I watch uh, a film or anything on TV, um, and somebody's using a computer, uh, I always get really annoyed because they they make up terms and nothing is very realistic, and you know they they do ridiculous things where they're pretending to hack into something. Um, are there things like that for you when you were watching movies or, you know, seeing a video game like this that, that annoys you about how unrealistic they are? Well, the first thing that annoys me is that people always assume that things will work, when in fact, uh, <laughs> in fact they don't. So, and that's the good thing about Star Trek, because they had the Scotty, right. who was a real, real <laughs> yeah. wizard and could fix things when they went wrong. So this assumption, oh, we're just going to build something, it's going to work 20 years from now, it's nonsense, of course it does. So you need someone up there who knows everything, who has, do, has to have this real feel, this real magic touch with machines, and can fix things. And it, uh, it's really a tribute to, to Star Trek uh, that they actually created this, this character. Right and put him to such prominence. So I, I think he really, and also the way he, he talks, and his, my father was an engineer on the ship, and it's really, you know, I, I, I have a feeling I'm listening to him when he's <laughs> speaking, so uh, that's really great, and uh, uh, this is what's missing in many space, space epics. It's, for, in real life, is that person here? You know, the person in mission control, or is it, you know, someone in the, the space station or? Well, uh, we don't, okay, we don't, unfortunately not yet, we don't do that much manned space flight yet. Yeah. Um, but it's, it makes but things a lot, more, it, it, a lot more difficult because you just have a little bit of telemetry, so some data and you have to find out what went wrong. But yes, the person would be either here or perhaps even in America because uh, they had a similar problem on a similar spacecraft uh, 20 years ago, and there's this guy who's facing retirement, but he says, hey, hey, just a moment, I, I remember, we, we have the same problem, can I help you? And it's, it's, everything's cooperative. Or you might have someone in industry, yeah? someone who, who, who built the spacecraft, or some people who built this, like, well, give us the data, we, we'll just do run an analysis, and, oh, we think it could be this and that, could you check? And then we, we check, we just, uh, you know, very gingerly, very carefully try to find out that this would be the problem, just, uh, you know, just do what went wrong before, but just with ready to stop. And then, oh, it's happening again, I don't stop, yeah, you like, that was it. Uh, this, this kind of help, this kind of help. Uh, you, you really have the people who, who know, who, who are just have an intuition for what went wrong. Yes, definitely, we have those. We have those everywhere. And they all look the same, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah. We, we have the same thing in computer games. Everyone who works in computer games all looks the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> we all have beards. <laughs> um, with something like that, is it, um, how, how does that process work? So say something needs to be fixed on a satellite. You know, is there a trial here where there is like a, a version of the satellite or the, where it is tested out first or? Yeah, exactly. That's very good. <laughs> we, we do have, on the most expensive satellites, we have exactly the same, a twin, and we can send something there and see whether it works or not. And that's important because uh, so many thousands of, of parameters, you know, every satellite sends 30,000 or more different parameters. So every, we know the temperature on the tip of the solar area, in the middle of the solar area, on the left edge, and so forth. We know all that. But uh, that's not the same as getting your eye roam and seeing what goes on. So uh, having something here and saying, okay, I want to open that valve and that valve, and sending the command and checking yes, and oh no, what's that? That is really something that helps uh, uh, solving or avoiding problems that could cost the mission. The mission can get lost because of not understanding and, and sending the wrong command, or sending command, which, which is right, which is right according to all the documentation, but actually not to what the spacecraft, uh, the spacecraft is set up to be. It's a very important thing. It's called an a, a engineering qualification model. If, if, let's imagine that, you know, science fiction was reality kind of thing, and you could, we were all gonna get a spaceship 
that was just a personal craft that we could sit in and fly around um, and go and visit another planet, go fly to Mars ourselves. A thing that we've talked about, what, because for us, we always model things on effectively like Battle Star Wood or Star Wars Wood. They look a bit like, you know, planes, basically. You know, they have, they have wings and they have, they look a bit like jet fighters. What would they actually look like in, in reality? Um, well, they wouldn't look like jet fighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, for the habitants, the, the most efficient way of doing things is a sphere, because it's the, the most efficient way to enclose, enclose the, more, the largest possible volume. And it's also the easiest for, to protect because you have the smallest surface, and that's where the nasties come from, the yeah. meteorites. But then you have the, the power supply, and that's probably not something you want in the immediate vicinity, so you have to put it on a large boom. Um, and then power supply creates a lot of un, un, wanted heat. You have to get rid of that somehow, or it's going to heat up. So you need some radiators. And um, then you need a big communications antenna. And that's powered by an AD35 unit. <laughs> so you see what I'm going. <laughs> so, um, actually, um, you can say what you want against Stanley Kubrick, but he had it right. He had it right, and that was in the 60s. Man, I have such admiration for the guy. He had everything right. He, he, foresaw everything. I can look at it now. Yeah, and I, I, I've seen these movies so often. I think this is correct. And the music is good as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 